Hello, this is a video on how to adjust the truss rod of your guitar. I'm using my Strat copy for this video as it's such a very common style of guitar. So let's get started. What's a truss rod? A truss rod is a metal bar that goes all the way down your guitar neck and it adjusts the amount of relief that's in the neck. That is, how much back bow or how much bow is in the neck. Now if there's too much relief in the neck, then you'll find the guitar very hard to play and the action will be very high, especially up the far end. If you have too little relief in the neck, then when you fret a note, the, nets, uh, the notes above it will fret out and they'll buzz and it'll be a horrible mess and the guitar will be unplayable as well. So really what you're looking for is a happy medium, although it partly depends on the player. Some people like a slightly higher action than other people, etc. On this guitar, you adjust the truss rod up the far end up here however there are some fender guitars where it's down here by the pit guard for this you will need a tool now there are two types of tools you might need you might need a female allen key tool like this like a popeye pipe or you might need a male allen key tool like this it depends on what guitar you have as to what tool you will need my epiphone is a 90s korean one and that requires a gibson tool even though the later Epiphones need a male tool like this. This guitar requires a male tool because it's a female. So the next step is to slacken off some strings just to give me a nice clean working area so I can adjust the truss rod. Okay, so I've slackened off the strings, given myself a nice clean working area and now I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to put it in like that. And the rule is, you push it that way, as in, if you're looking at a guitar this way on, it's this way to loosen the truss rod and give it more bow, and you turn it that way to tighten the truss rod and make the neck flatter. So here's the part where we actually adjust the truss rod. I'm going to take my tool here, and I'm going to put it in the socket, like so, make sure it's deep down, and then... From being 12 o'clock, I'm going to do a quarter turn over to one side, okay? In this instance, I'm not loosening my truss rod, I would like to tighten it slightly. So, it's in, and I go over, like so, pull it out, and then that's it. It's important to do it a quarter turn at a time. So you do a quarter turn, and then you restring it, and then you wait a couple of minutes, and then you retune it, and see how it feels. And if it's too far, well, you can undo it, it's only a small amount. And if it's not far enough, you can go a little bit more. But if you do it a small increment at a time, you're more likely to get the relief you want. There we go, so it's all strung up again. And I'm just going to wait for the wood to settle for about 15-20 minutes, and then retune it. And then it should be fine. Now, you can't damage a guitar neck by over-loosening the truss rod because the wood is so strong it will be absolutely fine, okay? You will have massive relief, but it wouldn't damage it. If you keep loosening the truss rod and you keep having the same problem, then the problem is not with the truss rod. You've got something else wrong with your guitar, and I suggest you take it to your guitar technician. If you over-tighten a truss rod, however, you can crack the wood in the neck, or you can strip the truss rod, uh, either of which is a very, very, very serious problem. So if you feel a lot of resistance when you try and tighten your truss rod, or you hear a crack, stop immediately, stop what you're doing, and take it to a guitar technician uh, to get it sorted out, okay? Don't worry about it like instantly, it, it's not going to explode on you, the neck isn't going to shatter, it's fine, but do not tighten it anymore. So that's how we adjust a guitar neck. Hope this has been helpful, please leave any questions in the comments and I'll answer them as best I can. Bye!